Welcome to How to Repair Your Own Legend Now. We appreciate your coming here and getting information from us. And we've just got a little bit of some bookkeeping kinds of things here to go over with you as we start. We're going to cover the four areas of this that, that we feel are really important. We call that assess, correct, make over, and monitor. Right. So we're going to cover those things. We would like you there on the webinar, you can type in questions to us. You can see that right there on your screen right now. Uh, we can't get to all these questions right here. We know that. I'll be monitoring over here as Dr. Mark is doing some other things over there. I'll be monitoring what these questions are and I'll jot down some of these questions and we'll answer some in those four areas. And every time we finish an area, we'll answer a couple questions, maybe one or two questions and then we'll right. move on. But rest assured, I mean, feel free to put in uh, your questions now because we will yes. answer all of your questions. It's just that the ones we can't get to during the webinar itself, we're going to send you back by email. Right, we'll email you. And if you send us a really awesome question, we may actually create a whole podcast about it uh, separately afterwards because we love to answer questions. Okay, so let's get to a question from Nancy from Westchester who wonders here with her small business blog that she's writing a couple times weekly, um, what can she do to get the most attention uh, and more traction out of that? Uh, it's, well, I, I'm going to go with video again. I mean, uh, not to sound like a broken record. And combining record. putting audio with it. Yeah, I mean, you want to make it multimodal. I mean, so if you're going text only, uh, again, it's not as attention getting. If, if you do a search on any keyword, and you're just kind of looking at that results. You know, it used to be that the goal was to be in those number one, number two, number three slots, that that was most important. I think at this point it's pretty safe to say that even if you're down lower on the page, if you've got that video box, it's what we're conditioned to. And it's, yes. it, you know right off the bat it's going to be more media rich. You might bypass the number one Google slot now and go with that just because you're going to have a more enjoyable viewing experience. So – Look at our website, you know, and look at how our blog is set up. You'll always see that combination, certainly of video with text. We, we really hate to put any text up that doesn't have an associated video. can be, again, a 30 to 60 second little, hey, I just did this great article. Take a look at it. It's right down below here. Go ahead and read it. You've already engaged me more than just reading the headline and making me work. So. Exactly. And use some personality in what we're doing here. Let's go to Randy, the accountant, who says, okay, so the two of us use video an awful lot. And that is true. We use video an awful lot. He says that he sees, I think his word was crummy. That's what I wrote down here. <laughs> he sees a lot of crummy videos uh, coming out of YouTube. Um, and he's not sure that he's comfortable on camera. How can he use video better to produce the results? Well, that's a good point. And, and we did actually produce a whole product about that, which we call Video Power Introductions. Yes. And uh, you'll, you can find that on our website. And, you know, maybe there's a pop-up somewhere around here, oh, too. Oh, I'm not going to give it away. We're not here to push that. But, but the strategy that we show in there, which you can just very easily follow, is to understand that we introduce ourselves all the time. You know, uh, you do it at a barbecue. You do it at a cocktail party party. You do it at, you know, around the holidays, you meet somebody for the first time. Hey, what do you do? And you, you answer that question in a very relaxed, conversational kind of way. That's what you want to start to kind of build into what you're doing so that you can start to get comfortable on camera. Now, the other thing that's wonderful about camera, we talk about all the time, digital, is that it's ones and zeros and it's free. There's no videotape. There's no super eight film that you had to pay money to go Roll get it away if it's no good. So, you know, the camera is actually your, your best friend to get, get comfortable on camera is that you set up the camera on a tripod, you sit here, and you speak to it. Then you take a break, grab a cup of coffee, play back what you just did, and, you know, relax. Give yourself a very objective critique and say, oh, you know, I didn't notice that I was saying, you know, you know, you know, you know, ten times. So you monitor what you're doing and you correct it yourself and now you go and you do it again. You can do endless numbers of takes. That's why we love video so much. Exactly. I mean, we are often perfect on the first take, of course. Of course. But at least it's the first take that we show. If we weren't, exactly. You wouldn't know that because it might have been the 20th take that we did. And, right. and it's the first time you're seeing that information because I deleted all those other ones. So exactly. use the camera as your best friend to get comfortable on camera. Now we have a whole... S Hi, this is Charlie Seymour Jr. And this is Dr. Mark Costner. And when you search your name online, what do you find? 
That's right. You, we always recommend that you go to Google, go to the search engine, search yourself, your keywords, do an assessment, look at what you find. Is that an accurate reflection of who you are and how you want to appear to people when they look for you? That's right, because we have Create Your Own Legend now, and we're helping people really build up that legend about themselves online so that when people search for them, they really see the side of them that they want. And it's three to ten pages deep of information about you that you control. But Charlie, but what happens when you do that assessment, you're in those first three pages and you find either it's not a good reflection of you or someone has posted negative reviews about you or negative information or inaccurate information. What are right. you supposed to do? People exactly. keep asking us that. People keep coming to us about that. So we're going to cover that in this webinar. I'm really thrilled with the outline that we've come up with for this webinar. So on Tuesday, we want you to join us on this webinar. See what it is to create that legend about yourself. Grow that personal side of you that other people can see. But when there's a problem, you need to be able to take care of that. And that's what we're going to be able to help you with on this webinar. That's right. So just click the link here. Go to the registration page. We're going to give you our four-part system for how you're going to repair going to your own to you. legend. And you can choose on the registration form what time on Tuesday is going to work best for you. We're going to do this a couple of times on Tuesday. Right. So. Click that link, go sign up for this webinar, and learn how to create your own legend. If there's a problem, how to repair your own legend now. Join us on the webinar.